So hi everyone, I just want to welcome you to episode one of Love Becky podcast. So we are going to get right into it. Episode one is about divorce before 30. So Emily Ratajkowski posted a video on TikTok and it was discussing divorce before 30. So I'm going to just insert the clip right now so all of us can watch it and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts on it. So it seems that a lot of ladies are getting divorced before they turn 30. And as someone who got married at 26, has been separated for a little over a year, 32, I have to tell you, I don't think there's anything better. If being in your 20s is the trenches, there is nothing better than being in your 30s, still being hot, maybe having a little bit of your own money, figuring out what you want to do with your life, everything, and having tried that married fantasy and realizing that it's maybe not all it's cracked up to be, and then you've got your whole life still ahead of you. Um, so for all of those people who are stressed or feeling stressed about that, about being divorced, like it's, a, it's, it's good. Congratulations, congratulations. So this is what she ended up saying about it. And my take on it, I'm a fan of Emily Ratajkowski. I think she is very insightful. And I also read her book, which I'll discuss in another episode of the podcast called My Body. Because I think a lot of women like myself could relate to it in terms of what she wrote. I'm going to discuss the video right away. My take on it is that I agree with her. So I want you guys in the comments down below to make sure that you give me your honest opinion, whether you are against it or whether you agree with her comment down below and let me know what you think I just feel like she was getting a lot of criticism because she was saying like good for you right like good that you went through with the divorce but i don't see it like that i think what she meant was like she even mentions that sometimes when you get married you kind of fall into this like married fantasy and let's say i mean in this case she was cheated on you realize like it you probably didn't sign up for all of that in the marriage. Don't believe that your life should be over for a divorce before you're 30 because you have so much of your life ahead of you. And she makes that a point. I believe this is not the 15th century and it's not taboo anymore. It's not like, oh my goodness, like I'm Hester Pry and I need to wear a scarlet letter because the town square is going to judge me. You look at the events in life, and this is not only for women. I feel like this video applies to men as well. If a man is unhappy in a relationship, you can't force him to stay. So sometimes divorces happen. And I think she had just a positive outlook on it that, hey, I'm not going to be in bed crying all day. You're gonna mourn the loss of the relationship, of course, but she says, like, good for you. Like, good that you can, come back from this and realize like maybe you were in a toxic relationship or maybe you got cheated on and you're able to walk out of it stronger. Yes, the relationship ended. It does hurt children that are involved. No one's saying divorce is easy, especially when there's kids involved. But the mentality that you don't have to curl up in a ball and be crying or devastated that it's over is something to be said. I think there's a strength in that. And I'm not advocating divorce. I'm not saying, oh, this is an amazing thing. I'm just saying when you look at a situation of a relationship and let's say you've tried everything or you're leaving an abusive relationship, marriage, and there's nothing left to be saved, sometimes divorce does come into play in, in certain cases. I think also it applies to men who divorce before 30. It's just if you're not happy in a relationship, you can't force someone to stay in a relationship that they're not happy in. Same thing works for friendships. If you're not happy in a friendship, you end it and that's it. She also got some criticism because she was saying, well, let's say now you've divorced before 30 and you're in your 30s and you're still hot, you have money saved. I don't think that was something bad to say because even if in your 30s, later 30s, 40s, I feel like vanity is something that if you're single still at that age, you would care about regardless. So just like men care about what women look like, it's the same thing. So she was trying to say, yeah, let's say you still look good. There's no shame in going through a divorce and then saying, okay, I'll start the next chapter in my life. Because that's essentially what it is. You're 
grieving the relationship that you left you're trying to heal and then get back out there and her take on it was very more positive in that you don't need to be crying lying on the bathroom floor all night wondering like if you're gonna get through it no you pick yourself back up and i think that's empowering enough to say okay i went through a divorce it's not so taboo now let me see what did i learn from this what do i take into that next relationship and then also if there's children involved you see well, how do I make sure my child is okay? I think there's different factors. We were talking about divorce before 30. Well, let's say divorce after 40 or your 50s, which I'm sure is tougher. So she's giving it from a standpoint of when you're younger, but when you're older, I'm sure that's much harder because then you're putting yourself back out there, which must be tougher and trying to start a new relationship. I guess when you get married in your 20s, you're still young and sometimes you know you make these decisions you're like okay i know i want this marriage and you get into it never know what can happen in life and it's just like life rules in general that two people can be happily married and then a few years down the line a year later there's no forcing two people to stay together for the sake of what for kids you try to work things out but sometimes there's nothing to salvage and there is no other, there's really no other option. You either stay in something you're unhappy with or if you're cheated on and you realize like, hey, I shouldn't be treated like this and you leave. And I do believe that there is a different dynamic when there's children involved. So there's a difference between, let's just say you're divorced and there's no children versus I'm divorced and I have children. Because now there's essentially like, how are you gonna work out an amicable, whatever the new healthy or normal would be so that your child, I guess, is spending time with the dad or whatever the case may be, but there is another layer to that. So there's no denying that there are parts in play when you're divorced and have a child in that case. So I really wanna know what do you guys think because there's different dynamics, divorce, that hurt children that are involved. There are factors of concerning age, let's say you're over 40 and divorced, but essentially this video is talking about being 30, like divorcing before you're 30, which I don't think again is something that should be frowned upon because you know yourself and if you're unhappy or something happened to you in a marriage, you know yourself enough to say like, hey, maybe I tried everything and it just doesn't work anymore and there's no shame in that and being open and talking about it and then also finding the strength to move on and essentially that's what i believe emily radikowski is saying the good for you the the hype is for those people who she said were able to get the divorce and they weren't like okay i'm gonna just stick it out for the kids or i'm gonna stick it out three more years to see if i'll reach you some utopia of happiness so I want all of you guys to comment below. Let me know on your thoughts on divorce before 30. Again, I'm not an advocate for divorce. <laughs> My parents have been married for over 30 something years. So I'm a believer in marriages and, and all of that. But there are instances, right? Where, where lives are not perfect. You never know what can happen. Once you're in a marriage, it may be all roses and, and rainbows. And later on, you maybe find some things out. It's that's life, you know, these things don't always play out as you expect them. And so I want you guys to just comment down below again, tell me what is your stance on divorce before 30? Do you agree with Emily Ratajkowski? Do you understand where I'm coming from in trying to say that these things do happen in life and it is how do you move forward? If anybody has been divorced before 30, please comment down below too, because I want to know your take. Like. I mean, you found the strength to move on as hard as it must have been and everyone's circumstances is different, right? So you have to look at that too. Like what was the reason for it to end? So there's all different circumstances. That's what I'm saying. It's not just one factor that comes into play, but essentially it is easier for someone, you know, before 30 or someone in their 30s who's gone through divorce and now is back out there. It would be much easier than let's say somebody in their 50s or late 40s. And this video is not just for women. So guys, please comment down below as well. If you've been through a divorce and if you were before 30 or even after, give me your take. Like, what do you have to say about it? Because sometimes these things happen unexpectedly and nobody knows someone's story and all the factors involved. You just have to listen and come from a place of understanding. 
And we can't just say, oh, divorce is terrible and horrible. Because what about the cases where everything was tried, there was some type of mediation and nothing could come to fruition, right? Do you just continue wasting your life in an unhappy marriage? I believe the answer to that is no. So that's my take on everything. So as a side note, my online store, Charmly Brunette, launched the holiday shop yesterday. So everything I'm wearing, as you can see this ring, I'll try to give you guys a close up. The earrings that I'm wearing. And even the dress that I have on today, it's all from my online store. And I think this holiday season, if you're looking for very affordable gifts, something under $100, under $50, or under $20, my store has a lot of options for everybody on your list and all different types of budgets because you don't have to spend a lot for a gift to be special. There's also really cute Christmas t-shirts for $17.99. I always offer free shipping, USA, Canada, internationally, Germany, Australia, Ireland, England. So I'm giving shout outs to some of the countries um, that we ship to, but you'd be helping my small business. We are based right here in Miami Beach, Florida. And also the stress, you guys a little, behind so all of it can be found on charminglybrunette.com so episode two will be coming up this week and i'm just waiting for a microphone today i did not film this using any type of microphone so mine is going to arrive by friday hopefully amazon gets it here a little sooner but hopefully you guys survive my audio quality. I'm gonna to try to do better on that once I get my microphone. So it's all about not making any excuses. I did not have the microphone here, but I said, let me go ahead and film this content. So at least episode one is out for you guys. So if you liked this content, please don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching. So I'm also going to leave the link to my online store in the description down below.